Did you know that if you have ankylosing spondylitis, you're at higher risk for other autoimmune conditions? The connection is deeper than you think, and understanding it can help you take control of your health. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Damber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting-edge treatments. Ankylosing spondylitis, or AS, is an inflammatory arthritis that primarily affects the spine, but it does not exist in isolation. Many people with AS also develop other autoimmune conditions, including inflammatory bowel disease, psoriasis, and even uveitis, which is eye inflammation. But why does this happen? What's the link between AS and other autoimmune diseases? And most importantly, what can you do about it? In this video, I'll break it all down in simple, easy to understand terms so you can take charge of your health. Let's start with a quick overview. Ankylosing spondylitis is a chronic inflammatory arthritis that primarily affects the spine and sacroiliac joints, which is where your spine meets your pelvis. Over time, the inflammation can lead to stiffness and even fusion of the spine, causing significant pain and mobility issues. AS is part of a larger group of conditions called spondylarthropathies, which share common genetic and immune system traits. AS is an autoimmune or autoinflammatory disease, meaning the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues. While the exact cause isn't fully understood, genetics play a role, a significant role. The HLA B27 gene is strongly associated with AS. While not everyone with this gene develops a disease, it increases the risk of immune system dysfunction, leading to inflammation in the joints, gut, skin, and eyes. Because AS involves an overactive immune system, it often doesn't stop at just the spine. Many people with AS develop other autoimmune conditions, including inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. This includes conditions such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Up to 10% of people with AS also have IBD. Inflammation in the gut and joints share similar immune system pathways. Next are psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Psoriasis is an autoimmune skin condition that causes red scaly patches. Some people with AS also develop psoriatic arthritis, which affects joints beyond the spine. Then there's uveitis or eye inflammation. About 30 to 40% of AS patients experience episodes of uveitis. It causes eye pain, redness, and blurred vision, and can lead to vision problems if untreated. Other conditions associated with AS include celiac disease or gluten intolerance linked to autoimmune gut issues, reactive arthritis, which is arthritis triggered by infections, but shares similar immune traits with AS as well. The key link is chronic inflammation and a dysregulated immune system. When the immune system is overactive, it can mistakenly attack multiple tissues, not just the spine. Imagine your immune system as a security team. In a healthy person, it responds only to real threats, such as bacteria and viruses. In AS, the security system is too aggressive, mistaking normal tissues as threats and attacking different areas of the body, from the spine to the gut, skin, and eyes. The good news, you can take proactive steps to reduce inflammation and improve overall health. To begin with, an early diagnosis and treatment is key. Work with a rheumatologist, to monitor symptoms and prevent complications. Early intervention can help to manage inflammation before it spreads. An anti-inflammatory diet. Reduce processed foods, sugars, and inflammatory oils. Focus on omega-3 rich foods such as salmon and flax seeds, and antioxidant rich vegetables, and probiotic foods such as yogurt and kimchi for gut health. Also exercise and mobility work. Low impact movement like swimming and yoga can improve flexibility and reduce stiffness. Regular movement prevents spinal fusion and maintains mobility. Then there are medication options. Traditionally, NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications have been used to help with pain and reduce inflammation short-term. Biologic treatments 
such as TNF blockers, anti-IL-17 treatments, and other similar medications work at treating the source of inflammation in AS and do a much better job of reducing inflammation long-term in ankylosing spondylitis. Other treatment options can also include regenerative medicine and non-surgical treatments. Options like platelet-rich plasma or prolotherapy can help to reduce pains and improve overall joint health. This can be helpful after the total body inflammation is under control and if you're still dealing with chronic joint pain issues. And of course, gut health matters. Since AS is linked to gut issues, keeping your mu gut microbiome balanced with probiotics and a fiber-rich diet can reduce inflammation system-wide. And then there's stress management and sleep optimization. Chronic stress and poor sleep can worsen inflammation. Focus on good sleep hygiene and relaxation techniques like meditation. Ankylosing spondylitis is not just a spine disease, it's linked to other autoimmune conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, psoriasis, and uveitis. The immune system plays a central role. When it's overactive, it can attack multiple organs. Managing inflammation is key. With diet, exercise, gut health, and medication, you can take control of your symptoms and improve your overall well-being. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our website, chicagoarthritis.com, for more expert advice on staying pain-free and healthy. If you or a loved one has ankylosing spondylitis and you want to explore non-surgical treatment options, visit us today. Until next time, stay healthy and live well.